Applying a mask, as you saw, is rather simple, but editing a mask is another skill that you're going to need to learn. So let's edit a mask and start playing with the masked image. To start, open up bitmap mask 02.jpg in your exercise folder, and when it opens, it's the same image we used the last time. To start, what we do is we just make our selection, just click on the blue area, select inverse to make sure that we've got the subject selected, and then of course we come to the layers panel and we just click the add mask button. And you can see that there's that black area right there in the mask, which is hiding, black hides, white shows. And that's pretty evident here. Now we've got a little bit of an edge along here that maybe we'd like to just soften out or maybe get rid of. And to do that, all you need to do is select the paintbrush, change the fill color or the brush color, the stroke color to 10. 10 pixels in size, make it sure it's black. Soft rounded, 100 pixel edge, no big deal. Zero on the green. And if we uh, zoom in on the image here, just sort of like right here, you can see we got a little bit of stuff here. So what we're gonna do is just paint over the edge. So if you paint, you can see that what it does is it fixes or removes any of the edges that you don't want. Now you can also change the color. And to do that very quickly, just press the D key for black and X for white. And if you click along the edge, you can see that you can bring in some of the detail that you may have lost earlier. Okay, gonna zoom out again. Double click the magnifying glass. With the uh, mask in place, there's also things you can do with it. For instance, we can select the uh, subject and give them a filter. So if we uh, come to shadow and glow and give it a drop shadow, you can see that he's now developed a drop shadow, great big drop shadow. Because of the fact that the mask is around the edges, we can apply filters to it. You know, we can uh, apply a drop shadow and then if you really wanna have some fun with them, let's uh, give them a little bevel. And we'll take the bevel amount down to about two pixels, and we'll make it sloped. And he's got a little bit of depth on the edges. So there you go, there's working with bitmap masks. The key to working with a bitmap mask is just make your selection, add mask, and then to edit the mask is very simple. As I showed you, select the paintbrush tool, change the stroke color. You can change the color by pressing the D for black or X. For white, black hides, white shows, and then just paint around the edges. And I also showed you how to add an effect to a masked image.